Hello, Irby. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Investing with Confidence. I am your host, Joshua David, and we are happy to have you with us today. Boy, I just forgot how to do this. <laughs> Getting rusty. We are live, and we forgot how to do this, and yeah. we're going to start over. How's yeah. that sound? Well, let's do that. When our we just YouTube listeners again? love the love the bloopers, and our Spreaker listeners love the bloopers, too. Mm. But let's do this again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Investing with Confidence, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. If you're a first-time listener, thanks for stopping by. I am your host, Joshua David, and we are happy to have you with us today. Al, we are back in the saddle, and this is a saddle for two. I have my good friend and my good pal, Mr. Al Connickson, with me. How are you doing today? You know what? I'm doing fantastic and want to wish everybody out there a uh, happy new year, and and thanks for tuning in and uh, listening to us once more. We hope you join us every week. A little belated, Al. It's, it's, it's the second week here in uh, January, but it's you know what? It's never too late it's to wish them too late. Happy, you are right. You probably new did year. that a couple times already. Uh, but, right. Al, we got a phenomenal show here today talking about the stock market. And uh, some of the topics we're going to get into here today, uh, just about like... Uh, a lot of online gurus, mm-hmm. paid ads, things that people are looking for online, really for investment advice. But let's, we're going to kind of break that break that down a little bit. Some of the stocks that they're talking about. Um, I just recently read an article article on CNBC, and there was a guy talking about you know his top you know twenty twenty two top stock picks, and, and really in this article it's pretty in- interesting. He's talking about all these different stocks, about what he's buying, why he's buying it. But he's just buying it at a certain time of year, Mm -hmm. which is very odd because there's no regard to price. It doesn't matter where it's at. So I want to break that down a little bit. And this this can be a ton of different people putting these articles out because what they're really doing is trying to gain exposure for their firms, for assets under management. Yeah, and it's interesting if you look at a number of different people and you look at their top picks – it, it, everybody, if, if there was a, a strategy that that just identified the absolute best stocks, everybody would have the same ten, You're right. and they don't. So a lot of opinion comes into it, you know. And the, and the key then is to have a strategy that that works for your style of investing and for for you personally, your uniqueness. Exactly, because everybody has a different goal and objectives. Uh, some of the stocks we're going to talk about here today, we'll do a little bit of analyzing FedEx. Apple, that big one that everybody likes, Disney, uh, and Visa. So we'll have some other ones in there as well. But those are some of the top flyers that we'll uh, we'll talk about here today. And Online Trading Academy, the sponsor of Investing with Confidence, actually on their 25th year teaching people just like you how to trade and invest, how to learn the techniques and strategies to time the market based off of price, not a time of year. So, Al, let's start with the first one here. Uh, let's talk about FedEx. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody knows what FedEx is. It's you know, you'd think it'd be such a great mover on the year. Everybody's at home, but you, you know, people are buying things online and just looking at the current, roughly around the current price. Uh, you know, we're doing the show here today, roughly around two hundred fifty-seven bucks per share ish. You know, uh, just uh, daily volatility, but based on when you actually listen to this show. But it was up only about seven percent on the year, so it really didn't move much for the year. What are your, what's some of your uh, opinions on uh, FedEx? Yeah, well, if, you know, we're looking at at some of the economy reopening stocks. When you look at companies like FedEx, the delivery companies, FedEx, UPS, uh, railroads, you know, those are companies that you would expect to do well in a reopening economy. But what what this individual does is, is more of a of a, a a buy and hold kind of a strategy where he's making a a buy one time and then holding on for at least a year. And a lot of our students are are more along the lines of a trader, Josh. They they want to take advantage of the movements because a stock doesn't just go in a straight line. Correct. They're, and just to clarify, it's not day trading. You're just trading. Uh, basically, what a trade is, I mean, opening a, clo- uh, a trade right. and closing a trade and not just hoping and hoping it goes up. Yeah, basically, what really what, what we try to teach our students as traders is to identify you know when to get out of a trade for a profit and when to get out of a trade if you if you're wrong and the yeah. trade's going against you that's part of the strategy that that we use but if you look at the at the, the particular strategy that this individual followed he would have bought into FedEx at $256 and around 20 cents somewhere in that area mm-hmm. it went up to 261 but our strategy that our students use showed a what we call a supply zone, where the, where we felt that there were were sellers in that stock, mm-hmm. and so you could have gotten out at two sixty six, 
And then uh, it went down to as low as 252. It was and trading are, right around 256 now. Yeah, and these are potential outcomes. You have to make your own decisions on that. But what I was talking about is just opportunities where supply and demand be, may be out of ratio. Yep. Um, and yeah. just, just and look. It, go ahead. And we're not making any. These are not recommendations that we're making. We're not telling you that you could have done this. Uh, but, I mean, we're not telling you that everybody did this. But you could have done it. We're, we're looking at opportunities in markets based on the activity of the people that really change price. It doesn't make any difference how good or how bad a company is. And unless people buy the stock, it won't go up. Unless people sell the stock, it won't go down. Yeah, speaking of opportunities, in trading and investing, we want to be buying at wholesale and actually selling at retail, just like how we buy and sell everything in our everyday life. And I'm just looking, and just for our YouTube watchers that are watching right now, I'm just looking at a weekly chart as far as uh, for FedEx I mean, me personally, I like there's a nice little demand zone area where uh, where investors might want to uh, might have uh, unfilled orders by institutions. Sure. Uh, right around a, a buck, about 145 bucks per share. You know, there's an area where it might be an opportunity. So I personally would say, hey, I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. Just like when I go buy shoes. I love Jordan shoes. Mm-hmm. I got to wait for those things to go on sale. They don't go on sale very often. But when they yep. do, you have to gobble them up. Yeah, you're talking about being patient and Correct. waiting for price to come to you. Waiting for price to come to an area where we have identified previously a lot of buy orders that not all of which got filled because when big institutions trade they almost never get all of their orders filled at one time so there's always going to be an opportunity after that first initial big order from them whether it's a buy order or a sell order for you to participate it the key is how do you identify that and, mm-hmm. and that's what we teach our students on a price chart how do you identify where the buyers are, where the sellers are, before they become buyers or sellers? Yeah, that's the key right there is how to identify that. So what do you need? You need a strategy that's designed to do that. Online Trading Academy, the sponsor of Investing with Confidence, has a strategy that's designed to find unfilled orders. Basically, follow the institutions. Where are they buying? Where are they selling? How to make smart investing decisions, whether you're trading for your income accounts or maybe even IRAs, 401ks. So, Alex, at the beginning of the show, and I have some uh, tickets to an investing class that I want to give away right here on Bloomington. We have these classes. They're during the week. They're also on the weekend. And these are classes where we've taught thousands, just like you, our many strategies, which are designed to teach you to make better investing decisions. So let's do this. Let's go with colors 1 through 10. We're going to do a call in here today because I have a special giveaway. We're going to give away tickets for this investing class, but I'm also going to give away some different stock picks. Now, these are areas where we're talking about supply and demand, where they're out of balance, potential opportunities. And these are just kind of trade setups or trade ideas. And really, I like to have people use these as learning tools to see how these financial markets actually work and hopefully make smarter investing decisions. So callers 1 through 10, call right now for the stock picks and the investing class. Call 952-814-4410. That's 952-814-4410. You can also go online at otamin.com. That's O-T-A-M-I-N-N.com. Al, coming up next, we're going to continue this discussion. We're going to talk a little more about Apple. We're going to get into a stock called Donaldson, Disney. We're going to have some fun here today. We'll be right back. Way short. Damn it. <clears throat> so let's add a little bit. 814. <clears throat> We're going to have some fun here today. <clears throat> oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm recording again. We're going to have some fun here today. Once again, for two tickets for the investing class right here on Bloomington, plus the stock picks, 952-814-4410. That's 
814-4410. This is Josh and Al, Investing with Confidence. 